Fashion Week, a huge economic driver for New York, is now underway. But behind the scenes, many people are saying they're not being fairly compensated. CBS 2's Natalie Dudrid spoke with models and other workers calling for better working conditions. This week, it's all about the catwalk, the cameras, and of course, the clothes. The energy is amazing. But if you go beyond the glitz and glamour, you'll meet thousands of freelance and gig workers, models, hairstylists, and makeup artists trying to make it in an unregulated industry. Payment not on time, not even payment at all sometimes. As freelancers, that's really dangerous for us. It takes us months, if not years, to get paid. Supermodel Karen Elson says it took years to learn how to navigate the business. Now she and other veterans want to make it more seamless for the young men and women just starting out. It relies on a labor force of mostly young immigrant girls who are often working in debt to their management agencies. Sarah Ziff, founder of the Model Alliance, says the fashion industry in New York City employs approximately 180,000 people, 6% of the city's workforce, generating $2 billion in tax revenues for the state. But most models and creatives work through management companies that are not licensed. Management companies really have no obligations to the people they represent. A new bill, the Fashion Workers Act, was put forward to create a basic protections for fashion's creative workforce. It forces management companies to cap their fees and abide by New York State labor protections. Models are also asking for safer workplaces and regulations on how castings are held. Ambra Batalana Gutierrez was one of dozens of women to accuse Harvey Weinstein of sexual abuse. A lot of times models are like underage alone. It should be like more than two people present in a casting, maybe also a woman in there. Members of the Model Alliance say they'll continue to champion fair treatment across the full fashion industry. In Soho, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.